r slash ask reddit americans what is something that europeans have slash do that makes no sense to you in germany apartments don't normally come with a kitchen it's purchased slash installed by the tenant sometimes you luck out but not usually when we sold our house recently a german woman viewed it and said this is lovely kitchen will be shame to see it go i was like go where she was so excited when i said we weren't taking the kitchen anywhere me and my husband were so confused she thought the house was a real catch because of it and was really shocked when the estate agent said that nobody takes their kitchens with them Ot, how does one take the kitchen pretty sure mine is good and attached to the house this does not compute they literally remove everything from the wall and take it with them that's bananas Till most of the Europeans here are either UK or Germans. Or those filthy cigarette smoking French. Which doesn't seem too surprising, since these are the three most populated Western European countries as well. IDK if it's all Europeans, but Germans have a real big problem with staring, like I owe them money. Also paying to use the bathroom in public spaces. Lol we do stare a lot. When I went to study in the UK one of my professors asked me during a tutorial whether he was saying wrong things, because apparently I kept staring at him. I didn't even notice it haha. <laughs> it's not that it makes no sense, but I've always been curious how carbonated water became the default in many places. Sparkling water has been around for a long long time. There's wells where the water comes out of the ground naturally carbonated. They had this where I grew up in Colorado Springs. There's this little town called Manitow, and they have natural wells with that type of water. No account. Sure fine. But then no screens on your windows so all the bugs get in. Not sure if this is all of Europe, but definitely the UK. Also no top sheets. The screens thing is so tucking weird to me. The NOAC forces you to open your windows. I stayed in the French countryside once in the summer. Kept the windows open at night. So many bug bites the next morning. My British grandma always had a plastic tub in the sink to soak dishes. It seems so weird to have a sink in a sink basically. Portuguese grandma here, and the same. I can even remember the color, it was always pink. The idea is that you can have stuff soaking, while still being able to pour stuff down the sink. I have absolutely no idea why anyone that has a dual sink has one, though. Obviously so you can have a virtual third sink. One can never have too many sinks the smoking. I stayed with a host family in France and my 16 year old host sister smoked like a chimney, as did all her friends. Like you're so young. Why? That is a very French thing. In my country almost nobody smokes. And absolutely not indoors. Smoking is practically required by law in Croatia. Indoors and out. The poop shelf in Dutch slash Belgian toilets. The what? Instead of poop going straight down into the water, there's a shelf so your poop lands on it, in case you want to inspect your poop. It gets pushed off by the water when you flush. Not everyone has one though, I think most toilets are the modern kind nowadays. I'm from Europe myself, UK, and find it strange some people here have carpet in their bathroom. It's disgusting. I've only seen carpet in the bathrooms in the UK. I've seen carpet in a kitchen in the UK. Of course the bathroom had carpet too. Nice and thick too. Sandals were a must. I'm from the Midwest and my family is from the Netherlands. So the society that wouldn't dare offend you in any way and the society that has no problem dropping truth bombs on you. It's rough. Jan Maas is not being rude. He's just being Dutch. He's not an a-hole. He's just Dutch. From Ted Lasso. It makes sense to me, but it still seems marvelous to me that in France, other places I'm sure, but I learned this in French class, it is common to buy groceries every day. You may wake up and go to the bakery for fresh baked bread, or stop by for fresh produce on the way home to make dinner. Yes, having walkable grocery stores nearby makes it easier, it seems so much easier to buy 3 to 4 days or a week's worth of groceries at a time. If you've ever had French bread you'll understand. A baguette bought at 7am will be warm and delicious, but by 5pm it will be solid enough to be an offensive weapon. Saw that mostly in the UK, having two separate faucets for hot and cold water? What the hell lol. Washing my hands was the worst. Not just hot and cold. One is lava, the other is liquid nitrogen. I just laughed out loud at this, as I burned the f out of my hands in a UK office bathroom today. What's with the constant invading of Poland?
Poland is in a highly strategic position, connecting Western Europe with Eastern Europe, and it's also a flat ground that's not easily defendable, especially with 1900s technology. It used to be an easy target for authoritarians to take. Now things are different after the Ukraine war as Poland has requested the biggest weapons delivery ever. Germany is also pulling money into their military, Russia ain't winning this war that's for sure. Why you guys like to put bathroom light switches outside the bathroom? It's to do with the electrical regulations over here. Basically we don't allow electrics within a certain distance of a water source. And by placing the light switch outside it means the electricity is outside the zone close to the water. It stops people with wet hands getting electrocuted. You are allowed a pull cord light switch inside the bathroom as you're pulling the cord, and not actually touching anything with electricity going through it, invading my personal space, especially when standing in line. I'm sorry, is my comment to close to yours? Allow me to squeeze in please. Was just in southern Italy, and it was hot as balls but everybody acted like they hate AC. We'd go out for the day, and when we came back, housekeeping had turned off all the AC units. Driver wore a full suit, but every time we got in the car, a C was off. We'd ask him to turn it on, and he would butt on low. Ask him to blast it, and he would for a minute then sneakily turn it back down. It's like they're reptiles or something. The cute sounding police sirens. In America the police sirens seem like an urgent semi deranged warning to duty F out of the way, like shit's going down, and I'm not there. Move. Meanwhile every European police siren I've heard just kind of politely annoy you out of the way. Like be do oo be do oo. Pardon me but a spot of bother has occurred. And I simply must hasten to it. Pardon me as I simply must attend to it. Pardon me. And the police cars themselves are so small. American police cars are big and brawny. Like they might need to make their own garage door into building. The European police cars I've seen. Where they even put the people there rest. Granted, I've only seen European police stuff on TV, so there's probably a lot I haven't seen. I don't understand cricket, and at this point I'm afraid to ask. Hit ball with stick, run back and forth between two sets of smaller sticks, while other team tries to get ball and knock small sticks over. Repeat for several days. Play the same country once every two years in a five day game for the chance to win some ashes in a tiny urn. Each game is called a test for some reason. Solid month of vacation in the summer. Man, I wish we had that in the states. You can choose when to take it. Some people take 15 days one month and 15 another through the year. And you have the national slash local holidays, at least in my country. Washer and dryer in the kitchen. I'm in the US, and don't have a washer slash dryer at all. I'd be ecstatic, if they materialized in my kitchen. In Greece I've seen it in the bathroom, which I guess, makes sense in case you get leaks. Calling the second floor the first floor. Edit. I think I figured it out in a comment below. It's more of a language thing than a numbers thing. That's why it's kind of infuriating lol. Like metric slash si versus imperial. It feels like words be damned. Numbers should be understandable between all of us. After all, this is a naming system. And not a mathematical equation. Mathematics is a language that transcends spoken language. I moved to Germany where they do that from Finland, where they don't. After over two years I still get confused sometimes lol. Smoke. When I went to France I was shocked. It was the only place I felt uncool for not smoking. Go to the Balkans, you will have no choice. Rent their whole lives. I saw this in Germany. I know it's becoming the norm in the US too, but it just seemed weird to me the first time I visited 30 years ago that most Germans rented their entire lives and never even thought about buying a house. In Vienna, our deceased friend's daughter just inherited her mom's three generation rental 600 euros a month for like 2000 square feet. Lack of public restrooms. McDonald's. KFC, literally any place you can eat, or drink just bar or also have bathrooms, and they are not allowed to stop you from using them. Need a shit. Find a pub. Job done. You all give us so much grief for having bathroom stall door gaps, and then have a one foot wide piece of glass, to keep water in the shower. That is mainly in hotels, though. People have either shower curtains or proper glass walls slash doors at home. Why the hell don't you guys just serve tap water, if it's okay to drink, to tables when they sit down? 
I'm currently in Europe and a handful of restaurants will not even serve you tap water and you have to buy it. This is in many countries too. WTF it's free and right there. There was a campaign in London a few years ago to insist on being to have tap water for free as opposed to buying bottled water. So in London restaurants they generally will offer still, sparkling, paid for, or tap, free. If they don't you can ask for it anyway. In other European countries this is far less common. You have to pay for water as an extra. No idea why they don't give tap water there, especially as it's drinkable in most places. Do any Europeans have a clothes dryer? Why do I think that's not standard? At least here in Denmark it's kinda normal to have both a washer and a dryer. Well for folks that live in houses, it's not the norm for people in flats to own their own. Brits, your sinks with two separate faucets are inferior and dumb. Filling the wash basin to wash is gross. I don't know if any of you actually like your sinks either, though. Edit, I'm glad they are disappearing. Now if us Americans can increase our trend of installing bidets. I'm European but went to uni in the US and got used to having outlets available in the bathrooms at home. It's a bit of a pain given electric toothbrushes, shavers, hair dryers, etc. are now running between rooms. They're more common now in new construction buildings, but in a lot of the older homes, you're lucky if you have one outlet in the medicine cabinet. Thank you.